Hello and welcome to another video on LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to print your LabVIEW code effectively. Uh, first of all, I'll demonstrate to you how to build a code, first of all, and then I'll show you how we can print. For example, you have an application code, and now if you need to print it uh, for a documentation region, or you want to share it to somebody else, or you want to print it uh, so you can communicate better with your colleagues or team members. So in that case, uh, printing the code is going to be very effective because you don't actually need to open the VI all the time. Uh, the One of the way you actually can get the data is by taking the screenshot of the LAVI code, but uh, the problem with that one is the resolution of the code might change and it won't actually look very well. Uh, you need to perform some editing. Uh, so in LabVIEW, there's a feature available to you. Once you have already created a code, uh, you can actually use the print function and then create the documentation for your entire block diagram, uh, front panel, and so on. So here, what we're doing here is I'm writing a simple code uh, to send the data from the producer to the consumer loop. Uh, to understand more about producer and consumer loop, please look into the another video in my channel regarding the producer consumer loop. Uh, the best way to send the data from producer to consumer loop uh, is by using the command and data messaging method. Uh, in this case, as you can see, the cluster into the left hand side has got the enum and a double data. Uh, for scalability purpose, you can replace that double data using variant. Uh, to understand more about variant, you can look into my another video uh, in this LabVIEW Advantage channel. So basically, what uh, the code what I'm writing is, uh, every time I press the NQ element, I'm generating the random value in the producer loop and then sending it into the consumer loop uh, with the generate data command. So after that, I need to add a code uh, for the generate data command. So I'll add a case structure inside the no error case to handle that command. I'll unbundle to read the command and the data. And then I'm going to create indicator inside the generate data. And then in the stop, uh, basically whenever I stop my producer loop, I should stop my consumer loop as well. Uh, for that reason, I'm going to add the NQ element VI function on my producer loop. I'm going to move the control stop control into the left hand side for the readability purpose. And I'm going to enqueue the stop command. So basically, whenever I press the stop button, uh, the stop command will be passed to the consumer loop. And I will connect the true constant to stop my producer loop. Uh, finally, in the consumer loop, I just need to connect the true constant over there to stop my consumer loop as well. Once this is done, done, I can just arrange my front panel and then run the VI. So if I run the VI, each time I press the NQ element, as you can see, the random number is generated and sent to the consumer loop, and I'm able to read the data in the data output. Now uh, the application is complete, uh, but now I need to print this code or the front panel and then send it to my colleague or somebody else. So like I said, uh, you can also use the screenshot uh, but uh, it will require lots of editing and everything so there is a feature available in LabVIEW uh, if you go through the options and everything so if you go to the file you'll find called print and then select print vi uh, I'm going to print only one at this point of time so next it will give you several options you should select the icon description panel and block diagram that is going to print everything and in this case I'm not going to print but I'm going to generate the RTF file uh, so that I can print it afterwards. Next, 
and I can select the quality, uh, how much color depth I want. And once I save it, I'll save it as a print.rto file. So after I have uh, confirmed, now I can open the file. Using here. Okay. So print file. As you can see, now like uh, the documentation of the VI, the front panel, the block diagram, and everything uh, is actually created automatically uh, by LabVIEW. Uh, so this way your code is going to have like a very good resolution as well and you don't need to like edit your codes and everything. As you can see all the other possible cases of the event as well as the case structures are all displayed over there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and comment on this video for future lavy videos.